Oh, uh, Tess, honey, now, I know it's not part of your job description, but I have just one or two minor personal errands that I need you to handle while I'm on vacation. Okay, Mr. Dixon. Uh, these are the tickets for my dry cleaning. Okay. Uh, here are the keys to my car. It's wash, wax, and filth. You got it. Oh, Mr. Dixon, before you go, um, remember my idea to reorganize our payroll system when I thought maybe while you were gone... And I'm this is Patches. <laughs> No, he, he likes to be called Patches. <laughs> All right, now, here are his favorite toys. <laughs> and uh, his special food. Oh, and his eye medicine. Uh, directions are on the bottle. Well, goodbye, Patches. You be a good doggy woggy, huh? huh? <laughs> well, thanks, Tess. Honey, I'll, uh, I'll see you in a week. Hmm? <laughs> See, I got off easy this time. He usually asks me to carry his luggage. <laughs> so, you want to shoot pool at Nick's tomorrow night? Oh, I can't. I have speech class. Speech? Like you don't already talk perfectly good English. <laughs> Accounting. Mr. Dixon's office. Is this Ted? Badges? Badges? Call it? Badges? Okay, I'll be right there. All right. Bye-bye. Personnel, as long as I'm not doing anything this week, they want me to fill in on the eighth floor. Ah, oh, they got a great view up there. Right, like a secretary has ever had a desk near a window. <laughs> I'm Tess McGill. Libby Wentworth. Hi. Personnel sent me to fill in. I'm looking for Bryn Newhouse. To each his own. <laughs> well, she can't be any worse than Mr. Dixon. You see the one with the pooch? You've taken care of Patches? Patches peed on my poinsettia. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have a creeping Charlie. Cover it. <laughs> Bryn, Tess McGill is here to see you. She'll be right out. Great. Hey, Libby, here's my new bio. Would you mind introducing me to this interesting-looking female type person? <laughs> Tess McGill Everett Rutledge. Hi. Tess is Bryn's secretary this week. Hello, you must be Tess. Yeah. Tess. I'm Bryn Newhouse. Bryn Newhouse. <laughs> uh, why don't you come in my office and bring your pad? We'll okay. get you started. <laughs> nice to meet you. Everett. <laughs> Sorry to keep you waiting. Oh, sorry to keep you waiting. Stuck on the phone. Pesky Business Week interview. Oh, uh, Marilyn Stedman or Don Wertheimer? Don Wertheimer. You read Business Week? Well, I, I read Mr. Dixon's. Actually, I read it to Mr. Dixon. <laughs> it's not every day. Um, no, it's a uh, Wall Street Journal every day. But I read that on the ferry, so I sort of summarize it for him when I go to work. Ferry? I'm from Staten Island. People live there? <laughs> I thought that was an amusement park. <laughs> That's Coney Island. <laughs> well, yes. I'm hiring a new junior executive for marketing. Call personnel. Tell them I want candidates who are intelligent, enthusiastic, personable. Female would be refreshing. Someone who is well-read, well-rounded, and well... Just terrific. <laughs> Each candidate must write a marketing report based on this same set of data. 
I'll... I'll get on it right away. Terrific. A uh, decaf, please. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Lana, come on. I just got to put these resumes on Bryn's desk. Wow, not a bad office, if you like tasteful and elegant. <laughs> nice, isn't it? Nice. Get a load of the leather on this chair. It ain't exactly Mark Norgahide. <laughs> yeah. Someday, one of these six lucky yuppies will have a chair just like it. Pet, be a dear and order fresh flowers for my office. One of my roses has a wilted petal. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. I am gonna apply for this job. I mean, I know more about marketing than any of these candidates. Fine, go for it. Wait, you don't think I have a shot at it? Yeah. And I got a shot at Warren Beatty when Madonna's done with him. <laughs> Thanks a lot for your vote of confidence in me. Of course you should go for it. Hey, if you don't get it, so what, right? Uh, grab patches, will you? I'll meet you by the elevator. Hi, Sal. If you're done shopping, I can ring it up for you. Uh, what a little cutie. And you're adorable, too. <laughs> he likes me. He likes me. He's yours. Uh. So? Want to go on Friday? Sal, how many times have you asked me that question? Well, let me see. Three times a week since eighth grade. I don't know. This is just a guesstimate, but uh, 2,000. <laughs> And what do I say 2,000 times? No, but see, I figured you were weakening maybe that last 400. Hi, sweetie. Hi. Wow, what do we have here? I'm dog-sitting for Mr. Dixon. Oh. Sal, I need to talk to my mom alone for a minute. Take the dog for a walk? <laughs> Come on, pooch. Let's cruise the boulevard, huh? Yeah, you little knucklehead. <laughs> Keep me company while I total up the register. So, what's up? Oh, maybe nothing. I'm, I'm not sure. But um, I've been setting up these interviews for the uh, junior executive job in marketing. And I keep thinking, I already know the perfect person for the job. You? Yes, me! I figure, why not, right? I mean, I've worked at Trask Industries for six years. I know the company inside and out. Plus, you'll be the only applicant who's read the corporate report. Read it. I typed it. <laughs> Dad. <laughs> what is with the outfit? Dr. Finkel. He... T <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. He had a checkup this afternoon. Joe, Dr. Finkel said his cholesterol's too high. He's got to cut out fat and salt. So look, already he's eating salami. I said I don't want to talk about it, huh? Yeah. So, okay, baby. What's new, huh? She's applying for an executive job in marketing. Ma, junior executive. Oh, really? But don't they usually hire those uptown Ivy League types? Can't you just be supportive? Supportive? Yeah, but I'm not gonna lie to her. No, but she doesn't No, I'm not here. lying to her. Hey, look, 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 look. We got a customer. Go help him. Hi, Frank. I'm here to settle my bill. Thank you. Tessie, look. You are as smart as they come, honey. There's no doubt about that. But people like us, we don't get the breaks. All them corporate phonies care about is who your parents are, which important people you know, where you went to business school. Dad, why haven't you said any of this before? You have seen me kill myself taking classes for four years. There is nothing wrong with improving yourself. Just be realistic about how far you can go. Well, thank Th you very much for your confidence in me. Hey, you I believe in. It's the system that stinks. Here. You know this chopped liver? 
I sell for two bucks a pound, huh? Yeah. I know a guy named Fred McDonald. He runs a gourmet shop on Park Avenue. Same chop liver. He calls it pate and charges 19 bucks a pound for it. You know how come he can get it, huh? I'll tell you. Because it's uptown, and people will pay for what they think they're getting. So what am I, chopped liver? <laughs> well, you ain't Fred McDonald, honey. That's reality. So, I should just stay a secretary for the rest of my life. Well, you could come to work for me. Here, learn the business Yeah, test. yeah, yeah. And all of this will be mine. That I have heard it 50 billion times, all right? Well, if you will excuse me, I have a marketing report to write. Tess. Ma, it's all right. Forget it. I will call you later. Tess. No, hey. Hey, Tessie. Joe, how could you do that? I'm not going to stand by and watch her get her heart broken. You don't want to get her heart broken? What do you think you just did? For new house office. She's not available right now. Okay. I'll tell her. Bye-bye. God, I'm so nervous I can't even think straight. Maybe this interview isn't a good idea. Fine. Be a secretary the rest of your life making other people's coffee. You don't make coffee. And they better not ask. <laughs> well, Everett, how is my report? I only had three days to write it, so if it's no good, please tell me so I don't go in there and humiliate myself. It was great. Really? I can never write a report like that. Lucky for me, I don't have to. <laughs> don't forget to say hi to your sister for me. I still can't believe you two were in Kappa Gamma together at Yale. Well, I certainly look forward to reading your report. I'll call you. Terrific. <laughs> Tess, yes. Can't you spinach salad from downstairs, dressing on the side, and send in the next applicant? Spinach salad? I am the next applicant. What am I going to do now? Okay, who's got a spinach salad? Quick! I do. Give it up. <laughs> Go for it. Hi. Hi. Hi, Dad. What a nice surprise. You haven't stopped by for a couple of days. We wanted to make sure you were still alive. I'm alive. Just... Busy. Well, this won't take long. You heard her, Fran. She's busy. Come on, let's go. Tess, your father has something he'd like to say to you. Go on, Joe. I'm sorry. Just because I don't like corporations, that doesn't mean Dad, that you can't... Dad, that's okay. I'd rather just forget the whole thing. Apologies accepted. Sure. Good. Now, how did the interview go? Okay, but, you know, I'm not going to hold my breath. You didn't get the job, did you? Joe, if she wants to tell us, she'll tell us. Ma, it's okay. It's true. I didn't get it, but hey, it's not that big a deal, right? Oh, honey, what do you mean it's not that big a deal? I saw you the other night. You were jumping out of your skin. Now, come on, what happened, huh? Can we just stop it, At please? least tell us what they Joe, she to... doesn't want to talk about fine, it. Fine, fine. Did they at least give you a reason? <laughs> and what did they say about your report? Nothing. Bryn said she didn't want to, quote, waste my time reading it, unquote. She didn't even read your report? She said that she had plenty of MBAs from Ivy League schools, so why should she bother with a secretary who didn't have a chance in hell of getting the job? Oh, sweetie, I'm so sorry. Maybe next time. Huh? Next time? Why? So I can just go through all this again? Oh, so you are gonna give up, huh? Just like that. Give up, Dad. She said no, all right? I just told you it's over. It's not over until it is over. That is a quote, unquote, too. Yogi Berra. But what does it mean? It means if Tess McGill has what it takes to get that job, she's gonna figure out a way to get it. Wait a minute. First you are telling me don't bother because I am chopped liver and they want pate and now you're calling me a quitter? Dad, you are driving me crazy. Okay, come on. Come on, Fran, let's get out of here. Come on. No, no, no. We are driving our daughter crazy. No, Dad, just you are. Come on, let's go. Let's give her some time to think. 
Think about what? If Brent Newhouse doesn't want me, there's, there's nothing that I can do about this. Oh, yeah? Let me know what you come up with, huh? I send it up to AJ to see what he thinks, but I am pretty much sold. Oh, Tess, croissant. How lovely. Uh, Mr. Trask likes raspberry jam. Have some. Good. Anyway, Everett, yeah. I am going to look like a genius for discovering this guy. <laughs> oh, uh, this guy, is he going to be a threat to me? Probably. Ouch. <laughs> Tess, call personnel and tell them I have chosen my junior executive. Sure. What's this guy's name again? Fred McDonald. Who? Fred McDonald. Fred McDonald. God! <laughs> I can't believe it! <laughs> I guess she knows him. No, it's me! I am Fred McDonald! What? You wouldn't read my report because I'm just a secretary, so I invented Fred McDonald, stuck his name on the cover, and handed it in. Brilliant. <laughs> I see. How dishonest of you. Tess. <laughs> well, yes, it was dishonest, but don't you see, it was the only way that I could get Libby, to... get me Marlene in Mr. Trass' office. Everett, go take a walk around the block. Uh, but it's snowing. Out. <laughs> Marlene, Bryn, uh, I need a favor. Can you check on something for me? I sent a report up to AJ this morning uh, by Fred McDonald. Do you have any idea if he's gotten to it yet? He has. Damn. Forget I called. Maybe it is a little idiosyncrasy of mine, but I do not like being made a fool of. A little prank like this might be cute in summer camp, but this is a multinational corporation, the one you used to work for. So pack up and get out. Now. Oh, Mr. Trask, I'm sorry. It's all right. It's my fault. I should have knocked. <laughs> well, if you'll excuse me, I was just leaving. No, stick around. We may need someone to take notes. Oh, good idea, AJ. Sit <clears throat> Pat over here. Uh, so... Where's... Everett. <laughs> Taking a walk. <laughs> Only Everett would go walking in a blizzard. That's what I love about that kid. He sloshes to the beat of a different drummer. <laughs> Let's talk about uh, Fred McDonald. Fred McDonald. I read his report. He's one very sharp cookie. You hired him yet? Uh, not exactly, AJ. There, there, there are a few complications. What kind of complications? Well, I mean, there are a few other candidates that I'm still considering. Fine. It's your call. Yes. Yes, but we're in a meeting. Uh, I'll tell him. AJ, that was Marlene. Murph Griffin's in your office, and he's hopping mad. I hope he doesn't think he's going to dump those casinos off on me. I'll be back in a few minutes. <laughs> All right. You had me cold. Why didn't you say anything? I heard A.J. Trask say that I was a sharp cookie. Me. Tess McGill from Staten Island. And that pretty much tells me I can get a job anywhere. So why would I want to work for somebody who doesn't want me? Have a nice life. No, oh, Tess. Well, it's cold out there. <laughs> sure could use a cup of coffee. Get your own coffee. Tess isn't a secretary anymore. She's your colleague now. Oh, wait a minute. Does this have anything to do with the fact that she's Fred McDonald? <laughs> yes, it does. Tess, bottom line. You wrote a good report. You were clever enough to get me to read it, and... You didn't embarrass me when you could have. It's the kind of loyalty I'm looking for. And I'm betting that you are going to make me look good. So, welcome to marketing, and congratulations. I'll call personnel and get the paperwork in motion. Uh, Bryn? 
I tell you what. I will think about it, and I'll let you know what I decide in the morning. Well, I'm thinking about it. What's that supposed to mean? I told Bryn I'd let her know in the morning. You mean you got the job? Pizza cake. Well, hello, I'm back. Uh, wait, wait, where's Patches? Um, I forgot to give him his eye drops and he, he walked right into the shredder. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> <laughs> Of you did. That's just what I expected. I got a kid who's an executive. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. See, I keep thinking I was chopped liver and they wanted pate, so I put this fake cover on the report and they loved it. So what you're saying is uh, you took my advice and everything you are today, you owe to me. Oh, Dad. Uh. Is this yours? I, th I thought you were on a diet. Uh, well... Well, the, uh, the doctor's office, the, the doctor's office called, and uh, it seems they mixed up the test results. <laughs> it appears I'm a little low in fat and cholesterol. <laughs> but don't tell your mother. <laughs> I don't want her to worry. <laughs> I'm Ron Majors, coming up at 10, some of Rock's top names hit the stage for a tribute to Nelson Mandela. Also, should school kids be banned from dancing tonight, the uproar in one town and why it's gone all the way to the Supreme Court? And a preview of Hollywood's blockbuster lineup for this summer, join us right here at 10. <laughs>